I forgot to shave. No worries. It doesn't matter because on Art Talk at 8 a.m., I don't have to. I don't have to. Many of you uh, have not shaved either. I'm not talking to the ladies. I'm talking to the guys. Um, well, maybe the ladies too. Uh, not really sure. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, this is Art Talk at 8, episode 16. One six. Fantastic. Uh, who's going to be the first one in today? Uh watching, watching. Uh, going to be a good day. Lots of neat stuff. Today is Wednesday. Uh, Thomas Minton, you're the first one in. Good morning. Chris Moody, good morning from Germany. Uh, this is our talk at eight. Uh, going to have a good subject today. Midweek, it's hump day. Hump day. Uh, Jay Bullman, uh, thanks for joining me. Let me know where you guys are, are, are tuning in from because uh, some of you guys are new. Jay, I haven't seen you before. Let me know where you are. Leave a comment down below. Or on the side. Not sure exactly what it is. Let me center this a little bit. Okay. Uh, awesome. Uh, I am Fireball. Uh, this is Art Talk. Uh, happy spring, says James Morrison. Thank you, James. It is spring. It's beautiful out. It's supposed to rain today, although it hasn't come yet. Not really sure. Uh, Brandon Hamner is watching. Thank you for uh, joining us, Brandon. Let us know where you guys are. Always cool. We are in Malibu, California, Southern California, uh, where spring is in full bloom. Uh, Chris says, hola, yes. Um, do I want to, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, good. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, if you guys uh, miss Art Talk Live, uh, you can watch it on YouTube afterwards. We post it there. This is episode 16 of Art Talk. Uh, my name is Fireball and uh, I'm your host. Uh, yeah, this is live, so you can ask questions, as I've mentioned before. You can interact with each other, especially for today's subject. It's really important that you consider interacting, and uh, uh, lots of great things are going to come because of that. We're just going to wait for a minute or two before uh, we start on the subject, because we want more people to come in. Doug Campbell, good morning, Doug! Hillbank Motorsports, if you guys have not joined uh, the community of Hillbank in uh, Orange County, you're missing out. You got to get with those guys. They create some uh, incredible cars. Uh, good morning, Doug. Good to see you, Rick. Uh, good morning to you also. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff with Hillbank. We're going to be going to a Balboa Cars and Coffee at some point. Excited about that. Um, and uh, Doug, by the way, I am driving right now a 2019 Corvette Z06 with 650 horse, 650 foot pounds. Uh, that's going to be uh, in a couple, a couple of vlogs from now because uh, I'm driving right now and filming right now. Uh, we just posted this morning the classic auto show. Be sure to check that out. You'll see some great cars there. Wesley, good morning, Wesley. Wesley Nielsen, Wes Nielsen of the Daily Driver Project. James Morrison says, great to see you. It's Saturday, the Classic Auto Show. Yeah, that was fun. Had a good time. Rick says, good morning. Uh, Doug says, can't wait. Of course, uh, uh, going to have a great time coming up. Uh, going to Santa Cruz this weekend. Going to Santa Cruz. Uh, Rick White has joined us. That's okay. You're not late. We're here. We're just starting. I always want to wait a little bit uh, and so people can kind of join in and, and we can get started. But um, as I mentioned, I'm Fireball. This is this is Art Talk at 8. We do this every single weekday morning. This is episode 16. We are cranking so far. If you guys are having a good time here, be sure to share it. Be sure to, to get this information out because the more people that know this stuff, the better the lives we affect. And that's what we want to do. Uh, quick Wheels and Waves update. Wheels and Waves was Sunday. The vlog is going to be going up in the next day or two. We did not have Michael Madsen. He, he said he was going to show up. He didn't show up. It doesn't matter because Keanu Reeves showed up. And we had a fantastic time with Keanu. He looked at the cars. He brought his Arch motorcycles. It was a blast. We had a really good time. Um, this weekend, as I mentioned, we're going to Santa Cruz with the Murphy Auto Museum. We're going to pick up a Woody and a vintage trailer up there. So we're going to be vlogging that. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for joining us on Art Talk episode 16. Uh, we also have Muscles and Mojo that's happening at the Murphy the first Sunday of the month. I'm not sure what that date is. I can't check my date. Uh, if any of you know what the first Sunday of the month is, post it down here. Uh, Thomas C's, good morning. Um, what's up, Joe? Thanks for joining us. Okay, so let's let's get rolling on this. Let me just uh, shift my things here and take a swig of water as we uh, as we get moving. Okay, no coffee today because I'm I'm juiced up. I've got I've got the Joe and I'm ready to go. Um, Okay, today's subject, you know, something happens when you give, and it's it's an important thing to understand the mechanics of giving, because we're not talking about reaching into your pocket and giving money out, although we are. 
uh, and if you feel the need that, to do that, that's not a bad thing. But you know, giving is about putting uh, energy into the world. Uh, good morning, Tina from Auto Books, Aero Books. Thanks for joining me, uh, Art Talk Live, episode 16. Uh, something happens when you give, when you put energy out into the world, you get back um, uh, sim things of similar nature. So it's important that if you complain about things in your life, April 6th is the first Sunday of the month. Thank you, Rick. Uh, if you complain about things and, and the way things are in your life, you don't like them, you don't realize that that's what you're giving. That's what you're putting out into the world, and that's what's going to come back to you, more things to complain about. So you have to understand the mechanics of that, that it's very simple to understand, but not so simple to do. But you can't, you can't get out there and complain. You have to get out there and point out all the assets that you have, all the good things in your, in your, that you have in your life uh, in order to get more of those things. Cameron, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so today's subject is um, success is a team effort. And what I mean by that is that as we go through life and we want to create success in a variety of ways, you realize that you can't really necessarily be successful on your own. It is a team effort. You need to leverage your assets. You need to leverage the people that you work with and uh, the people that you interact with uh, in a way that is giving, in a way that is um, uh, uh, expanding for everyone. And, and that's the only way to do it. That's the surefire way to do it. That if you're going to give into this world, you want to give something uh, in a conscious way so that you know that what I put out there is going to come back to me. If you're unaware of that, that, that second part, that it's going to come back to me, then you just put stuff out in the world. And you just like take take a take your best shot. Just throw stuff out there. Complain, bitch about this guy or that guy or you know things aren't the you know the uh, the government's doing crap. You know all the all the things that you could easily complain about. That's very easy to do. Super easy to do because that's and that's why a lot of people do it. It's very easy to complain and uh, and talk about why things are so poor or, or difficult in your life, uh, difficult, lots of difficulties, a lot of challenges. Uh, Rick says success is a, gem, is a gem effort and we are on your team. Uh, that's the thing. So here's the real reason that I do wheels and waves and muscles and mojo. And here's the real reason that I go to car shows. Now, uh, the first aspect of that is I love cars. I love cars in a incalculable, incalculable way. I'm not sure if I said that right. Uh, but uh, what I truly love is the interaction with people, is I love seeing people in their best light, is that when you go to a car show, like we went to um, uh, the uh, Classic Auto Show recently, and we saw Johnny Martinez, we saw, you know, there's lots of really great people there, and they were all feeling good. They were, they were kind of in that that home, in that fresh space in their head uh, because they're surrounded by the things that they love. And if you're fortunate to be in a business where you're doing what you love, then you get to experience that uh, more than most. Uh, if you're in a business that you, it's not necessarily that great or heaven help you if you're in a business that you can't stand, then you have to make uh, larger efforts to incorporate more of that into your life. But leveraging connections is, is about meeting people and hooking up and saying, you know, what do you do? How does this work? And how can that, how can that benefit me? And, and how can I, what I do benefit you guys? And to work together as a team to build prosperity for everyone. Um, in a world that is uh, me, 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 which you see a lot of uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, good morning, Gregory. Thanks for joining us. Uh, giving is obviously not, not about me. It's not the, the I mentality. Giving is about what can I what can I build that's of value, establish that value, and then put that out into the world and uh, and build from there. And that's that's an important important asset. So you know, uh, people coming to Wheels and Waves, I get very excited when I introduce this person to this person at a car show, and then they create something. That that's very exciting for me. I, I love that aspect of it, um, and it's great to uh, to bring. You know, celebrities like Tony Dow, going to have lunch with Tony today, um, bringing them to to Wheels and Waves so you guys get to, to meet with them and see that they're real people. They get to interact. It was great to have Keanu there because he was talking about his bikes at Wheels and Waves. Um, I didn't want to ask him about his movies because honestly, I don't care. I don't really care. You know, he, he's doing his job. He does it really well. He's very popular. He's an A-list actor. People really love him. But I'm more interested in the, the bikes and how he's building that and what can I do to help expand uh, the awareness of what he does. And that's, that's something that we're going to work on. So 
networking is, a, is a, a very important part of the creative process. As a creative individual, as someone who wants to um, incorporate more of what they love into their life, uh, the only way to do that is through a team effort. Uh, Stephen Ball, thanks for joining us. Uh, we are, wait, hold on a second. Uh, Gregory, love my coloring books, says Gregory, and the Mustang is awesome. Thank you, Gregory. I'm glad, very happy that you're enjoying that. Um, that's a process right there, is that you come up with an idea, you put it into a coloring book, and you put it up online, and people buy it, and they enjoy it. It brings a little bit of joy to their lives. Uh, but also, Gregory, you can know that for that particular book, that uh, a portion of proceeds helps dog shelters. So a little bit of money that you spent on that book goes to Hope for Paws. And, and that builds up, and that's something that you can feel good about. That's, a, that's an important aspect. We all feel good about giving in every way that we can. So, uh, and, and networking, you know, it's like uh, um, if you come to a car show and uh, you want to show off your car, you got to come with, the, with the, the prospects also of saying, hey, how, what opportunities can I create for myself, and what opportunities can I give people based on what it is that I do? What can I, how can I help? How can I give into this world? I'm not talking about doing stuff for free, although sometimes there is a, a value in doing that. But uh, if there's things that you can come together and say, if you do this for me and I do this for you, together we're going to grow. And that's that's really cool. That's kind of exciting to uh, to create that. And uh, we've done that a lot with sponsorships. Uh, there was a time where I was doing a TV show for Speed Channel called Street Tuner Challenge. Went out to a billion viewers. It was a very, very serious one. Uh, Chris says, uh, Fireball Calling Book volume set. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, Chris. Keep going. So uh, when we did that show... Um, uh, I said to my sponsors that we had about 70 sponsors on a vehicle that we were building, is that what value can I bring them just short of them giving me product, featuring the product on the show, and and uh, and that's about it. Is I actually brought them in, I said, hey, we're going to have you install the product on the show and interview you, and that gave them something that tremendous of value. They got very excited about that because of very personal experience to be on television. And, uh, and as a result, we ended up building a $250,000 Mini Cooper for this this uh, this movie car build this, this this TV show build and we did it for zero bucks it was great so you want to look for opportunities like that you know obviously if you have a business and you want to sell stuff that that's that's important too you want to do that um, but at the same time you want to figure out a way to give hold on a second I got a I got a heater over here that's that's burning me up I got to turn this off okay all right let's keep going. Uh, morning from Chi Town, Ken Vella. Uh, MC Ken Vella is in Chicago right now. Uh, I hope the weather is is good in Chicago. Uh, my second favorite town on the planet. What's number one? Anybody? Number one? Malibu, of course. Uh, Thomas Pietrocarli, thanks for joining me. Uh, Thomas and I go way back into martial arts days, probably 20 plus years ago, something like that. Uh, Ken, have a good time. Say hi to your dad um, in Chicago and in Indiana area. Okay, we're moving on. Um, basically, we want to help each other be successful, right? That's that's the goal, is that uh, you can't really be successful on your own. You have to leverage your assets in, in any way that you can, uh, but you don't leverage it in a way by trying to extract things from everybody else. You leverage it by saying, where can I give what it is that I have in exchange for something that they have? Uh, where can we work together and, and build something very cool? Uh, Thomas Pichicardi says, oh, we, are, we have been friends since 1982. Yes, we've done a lot of cool stuff. Uh, good morning, Troy, New York. That's where Thomas is. All right, so we're around the world. Very cool. Um, you know, the, the problem in, in giving, the challenge in giving, is that many people worry about what they're going to get. So they don't give. Uh, is if they give their time, if they give their assets, uh, then they're not going to somehow get back the value that they're giving in. And you can't worry about that. You, you got to set that aside. You, you have to give freely uh, without the, the expectation of exchange. But at the same time, it doesn't prohibit you from coming up with an idea and saying, hey, we'll do this. Now, um, we have something coming up that I think is probably going to fall apart. Uh, Tony and I, Tony Dow and I, we're going to be doing something this weekend or so in the next couple of weeks. And it's starting to fall apart because the, the, uh, it's lopsided is that all that is that we are giving is not coming back to us uh, in kind, and it's not coming back to us in a way that is, um, uh, we can't do this, or, or uh, we promised you this, but we're going to have to, have to give you something else. It's, it's kind of a lack of activity 
that's going on. So, uh, you know, I'm not talking about, I, want, I don't want you guys to be taken advantage of. I, I want you guys to, to go out there and to give, uh, but to get creative. And that's, that's, that's the bottom line is that they, we're creative beings. We want to get out there and we want to create as best we can and look for opportunities. As an example, you know, we have our coloring books and we've been doing it for about two years now. We have about 20 books. Currently, we are aggressively looking for any contacts at uh, Random House. So if you guys know anybody at Random House or know anybody that does things you know, at a place like that, that's something that I'd like to talk about. That's something that we want to expand and grow. But until then, we're just going to keep pumping out cool stuff, right? Uh, Josh Williams, uh, thanks for joining us. Let us know where you guys are tuning in from. Um, what else we got here? The, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, that's really the mentality. That's really the mentality. Is, is, um, uh, it's a simple mathematical equation is that you put goodness out into the world, goodness comes back to you. But that's the easy part. The challenge is to remember that. You got to remember to remember, as Buddha said, uh, to remember to stay aware and that when you go to a car show and you're in a good frame of mind and you think about all the value that you bring, you know, each individual person that goes to a car show has an established value in themselves. And it's important for you to value yourself. It's important for you to say that, that I have a purpose on this planet, I have a, a place for myself, and I'm going to give that. I'm going to give that in the best way that I can, and at the same time, I'm going to strategically look for areas in which I can ex help, I can expand what it is that I have, and grow uh, everyone at the same time, if that's possible, and it is. Okay, so that's, that's something I want you to think about uh, today, guys, is get out there and um, try to have uh, a strong faith today as you move through the day. Uh, give where you can. Um, sometimes it's a little bit of change at Starbucks. Uh, sometimes it's just a compliment. Uh, sometimes it's just eye contact. Sometimes um, it could be uh, uh, very expansive, like uh, uh, giving your time or, or giving your assets or, or different things. So do what you can today. I want you to think about that, but kind of be aware of that, okay? As I mentioned, I'm heading over to Tony Dow's in about, uh, about an hour. Uh, we're going to be discussing some aspects of the Fireball Gallery, which is, which is launching May 11th. Some great art that's going to be happening. Jan, thanks for joining us. Um, if you haven't posted where you guys are tuning in from, leave a little note down there. Uh, Wheels and Waves vlog is coming next, as well as the Corvette. I'm driving, as I mentioned, I'm driving a 650 horsepower uh, 2019 Corvette. The 2020 is coming out. Check on our blog. You'll see exactly what that car is looking like. It's pretty close, pretty close. I think that's what it is. Okay. But have a spectacular day today, guys. I love you. I, I, I mean it from my heart. Get out there, do what you can today to make a difference. Okay. And we'll see you on Art Talk tomorrow.